This is Akash and I am here to explain a very small project in Google Cloud. So this project lets users to submit uh, reviews to your web-based uh, serverless application. You take the review, publish it in a PubSub model and then there's going to be another cloud function that takes the review, calculates the sentiment, uh, positive, negative, the score and then pushes that in BigQuery table. So this is a hands-on uh, course. So uh, we can uh, see how exactly things are done in a step-by-step -step manner so that uh, newcomers can have uh, a good hold about how projects are built in uh, GCP. So here is a new project uh, that I have created in Google Cloud. The important thing to note here are like the project number and the project ID so once you so let's start so first of all uh, let's set the project id to be uh, your gcp project id so in this context this is going to be our project id over here so let's set it up and then change the region to a default value. We are going to uh, authenticate uh, all the APIs that are relevant for this uh, project over here. It's gonna take some time and uh, like you see, uh, it's been uh, enabled. Next, uh, we are going to create a data set. Uh, it's called the products reviews data set. So we are creating this data set. And then we are going to create this BigQuery table. And then we are going to create a PubSub topic called new reviews. So the architecture uh, that we are going to follow is that the user is going to send a request over the internet and we ha will have our uh, cloud drone function. So it's going to be a Dockerized container uh, listening uh, in port 8080. It's going to take up the request. It's going to take up the request, process it and then publish it to a PubSub topic, which is the new reviews topic. It, it then triggers the cloud function which is like the process sentiment function and then uh, it, it calculates like the uh, score positive negative the sentiment and then pushes that into BigQuery. Uh, you can also create a real-time dashboard on top of that but right now we'll focus only on this. Secondly, uh, uh, so where have we done till now? We have created the data set, we have created, created the table and we have created the pub topic. So we are going to create a service account. So this is for better security purpose uh, that you associate a service account to any entity in consideration. Here is a, uh, we have created this service account and then we are going to create another service account for the cloud function processor. I think this is not required. Okay. Uh, So uh, what we are doing over here is we are using the service account created by the processor and we are letting it query BigQuery and also we are going to uh, let this query the NLP layer to calculate the positive negative score.
I think we require this so we are gonna also let the cloud run API uh, act as a publisher to this pub sub topic so we are gonna have this so we have created the service accounts this and this we have let the cloud run uh, cloud run api layer to publish over here and some permissions to query the big query table and the nlp uh, api layer so these are some uh, helpful functions to de-authenticate the endpoints uh, just for testing purposes uh, so here is like the code that you can see uh, here is the cloud processor layer so this is gonna be the last layer so this is gonna take the messages from the pub sub topic it's going to be triggered by any messages that, that is going to be there it's going to take up the message it's gonna get the score and the sentiment magnitude and it's gonna publish it into bigquery so this is a very uh, uh, standalone function uh, so it's a cloud function and there are some requirements over here dot txt and uh, this is the cloud run function so uh, it's going to be a python web server based uh, entity where we have a small docker uh, container uh, it's gonna run the fast api using uvcorn and listen on port 8080 and it's gonna uh, listen on all network interfaces and over here uh, we have initialized like the fast api and we are going to uh, send request to this review endpoint it's going to take the payload and it's going to just publish it into the topic so this is uh, at a very high level the structure of our project uh, so let's go on and uh, deploy this so we uh, we will deploy the cloud function processor first let's deploy it So we can see things over here. Uh, so right now we have run the cloud function over here. You can see this both in cloud function and cloud run. this is getting created it takes some amount of time hopefully in some time it's gonna create let's copy the URL I think it just got published over here uh, so this has uh, this is so as you see uh, this is triggered by the messages that are in this topic and then what we are going to do uh, we are going to deploy the cloud run function so this is going to be a simple uh, python web server 
and it's going to be unauthenticated and we are gonna deploy this in US central one and we are gonna make it unauthenticated so that uh, anybody can like send requests all over the internet an important thing to see is that uh, yeah you can see the authentication over here it's required authentication uh, the other where the other function or the cloud run function it's uh, it's gonna have like unauthenticated so it's gonna allow public access copy and see uh, how the status is uh, it's successful right now and let's refresh the page yeah so one is uh, having public access and one is having uh, required authentication there's one more step that we need to do so this is something that I uh, had issues with we also need to make sure that the cloud function processor service account can invoke the function so this is uh, somewhat tricky but think of it as that the service account can trigger the function because the trigger itself is from the fact that messages are in the queue so that the service account once it has received the account should be able to trigger the function so this is uh, quite necessary over here so let's run it over here so this is going to be our endpoint so this number over here is uh, the uh, project number so let's test it out let's run this over here let's run it from here yeah I think there were some issues with the code uh, but as you see uh, we have sent product P7454312 so we can first look into the uh, sentiment API and like you see uh, not the sentiment API the process sentiment function uh, this oh wait yeah it's going to be sentiment API right so over here uh, let's see the logs it has received the review for this product and it has uh, and it has sent the message to this particular topic and if we see the cloud sentiment function so let's look at the logs over here it has received that product along with the uh, review ID which we got over here 17 something and uh, it has created the score of this and uh, the magnitude and then sent it into BigQuery so what happens if we uh, send this uh, let's change it to like s and do it like not recommend and 
I am just changing into a negative uh, sentiment. I am very sad. So this is going to be 79C1. Let's refresh the page. It's almost instantaneous. Uh, it's going to be a negative score negative is uh, denoting a negative sentiment and finally uh, let's look into uh, the big query over here so this is my project uh, this is going to be the big query table and this is uh, this is the big query table and we are doing a select star and a limit thousand just make sure that limit is there uh, in case there are lots of rows and uh, we see both the uh, both the sent, uh, sentiments and the actual product ID and the actual review score. So you can uh, create a real-time dashboard based on the uh, BigQuery dataset using a connector. And so that's about it. I hope uh, uh, people might find it uh, helpful over here. And I'm gonna share the code uh, in the uh, video description. Uh, yeah, thank you.